welcome. Uh, my name is Anthony, and I will be guiding you through the process to use your Hydra outputs uh, to light up lights or anything else uh, you'd like to do. In this example, um, I'm going to be uh, using the cruise light as an indicator that the car is uh, not up to temperature yet. So I'm um, just going to guide you through the basics here. Uh, the first thing we want to do is uh, remove your uh, instrument cluster. Uh, it's very easy to do. Uh, there are a number of tutorials on the web. Uh, basically, um, just pulls right off. Uh, you want to pull out the board here. It will uh, pop off. It makes some awful noises, but uh, as long as you pull it straight towards you, nothing to worry about. On the back of the connector, we're looking at uh, the first connector, which is farthest to the driver's side. And what I've gone ahead and done is popped off the back of that connector. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because uh, I don't have cruise control, and so there is no wire to power the cruise control uh, or ground the cruise control. So we do have the light, um, we just don't have the uh, the wire to the light. Alternatively, you could tap um, any of the other existing lines that has a light. If you'd like another reason, you'd like to light up the check engine light or light up the overdrive light or the parking brake light, really any of those. Um, in this case, it's going to be the cruise light. So what I've done is I have uh, bent the wire here in a, kind of a U shape and left uh, taken off about an inch of the insulation and folded it back and then just pushed it right there into the uh, into the connector and uh, that works well so you can use that if you need to uh, light up any of the other lights that uh, maybe you don't have wired in already um, works great you can just crimp the connector back down I had to uh, retwist the end of my wires there once I pushed it through but that was about it um, this picture shows here I've uh, the wire. I've taped it to the harness so it doesn't move around too much and then the end of the green wire there is going to go to an unused hydro pin. Um, I will show you which ones are unused uh, later um, but you'll need a pin. Uh, I have a Miata so I get my pin from Flying Miata and uh, they're about 50 cents each so not a real big cost. I, I use a uh, sub B uh, pin connector to crimp them. Uh, maybe I'll make another webinar on that as well. So that'll go to the Hydra output. Uh, and uh, we're going to get it to light up that cruise light. And in order to do that, we need the Hydra to uh, output some voltage. So let's, uh, let's go over to uh, the Hydra software here. Uh, when you start your Hydra software, this is what it's going to look like. This is just the base maps, uh, base fuel map we have here. Uh, so, in order to access your uh, output configurations, you're going to go to the setting tab, and then we're going to go down to output configuration. So, this shows all our available output configurations. Uh, if you have this plugged into the car, and the car is connected and on, you will see certain one of these are, are grayed out. Um, obviously, they're, they're not available for use and the other ones that uh, aren't grayed out are available. Some of them, like this one, is uh, our main injection. So we have injectors one, two, three, four. Five is used for the AC clutch. Six is the TAC. Seven is not used at all. Um, this is one of them you, you could set up for a switch. Uh, seven and eight, obviously. Uh, I'm using DA08. For, for my switch. Uh, BA05 is the factory cruise control. Uh, BA06, the fuel pump. BA08, there's nothing there. Uh, so that's what I've gone ahead and chosen to use. Uh, we have four tabs. On this, simple is uh, off, on, turbo timer, these sort of things. Um, you know, if you needed to change or add one of these other items, you can do that. Uh, the switch. Is our switch function. This is what we're going to be talking about, how to set this up. The uh, pulse width modulation. That's uh, maybe if you want to set up something for uh, LED bar graphs. Uh, you, know, you, 
can do that. Basically, these are the uh, pulse width modulated maps, um, and uh, you know you can choose the duty cycle with which they output. Uh, might do another webinar on those as well uh, that goes into you know using those with your maps and uh, some neat stuff. Advance. This just shows you what your expression looks like. Uh, if you want, you can uh, uh, you know just kind of nothing too important shows you what it looks like. Uh, anyway, let's talk about the switch here. The switch um, switch is set up just like the data gathering. So you can set up anything that the uh, Hydra has uh, going through its system there. So you can just type in anything you'd like. Uh, in our case, it's going to be coolant temperature. Coolant uh, temperature. So you, you have all of these different different items um, that you can choose from uh, the thousands and thousands I'm sure. Uh, in our case we're going to do coolant temperature. Um, over here you get your uh, qualifiers uh, is equal to, is not equal to, is greater than, is less than. In our choice we're going to use in less than because I, I want this to light up um, uh, less than 176 degrees. So we type in 176 and then we push enter. You have to push enter over here or it's not going to uh, not going to finish the process. You need to press enter to uh, you know solidify your selection. So basically when this when the coolant temperature is less than 176 degrees, DAO8 will uh, go positive uh, and it will output a voltage. And in that case we have Set that voltage to the, uh, the coolant temperature, excuse me, the cruise light. So when the cruise light is on, I know that I'm not in closed loop and that the coolant temperature is less than 176 degrees and that I generally want to take it easy on the vehicle. Um, you can set them up to do any number of things. Uh, there's a button over here called More Conditions. Uh, you can put up to, uh, up to four conditions actually. And you get your choices with these little little boxes here, um, and it it works just it's a simple logic circuit. So you have and so maybe you only want that to output when the coolant temperature uh, is less than 176 degrees, and uh, you know uh, RPMs are uh, exactly at a thousand. I don't know what you use that for, but you could do that or Maybe let's say if the coolant temperature is less than 176 degrees, or um, let's see, the uh, coolant temperature and say that uh, if you have like a oil temperature is uh, less than uh, 200 degrees. So, um, uh, the uh, NBs don't have a factory oil temperature gauge. Uh, if you had one connected to the Hydra or, or really anything else, uh, it will send the output uh, if the coolant temperature is less than 176 or the oil temperature is less than 200. Uh, it will provide a voltage and it will light up whatever lighting indicator lights that you'd like uh, to use as uh, warning lights and what have you. So. Uh, my case, I'm just going to leave it as the uh, cool temperature light for me for now. Uh, when you're finished, go ahead and press apply, and OK is going to close the window. Then you can save your map. Uh, when I save my maps, I save them, you know, to, depending on, uh, I'll try to be very descriptive. In this case, it's my third cold start setting, my uh, 12 boost setting on 48 hertz, my fifth launch settings uh, with my AC enrichment. And I put cruise at the end because I'm using a cruise light. So I try to be descriptive, and then you go ahead and save it. Uh, this is the map I've already have saved, uh, and uh, that's how you use the uh, output configuration to light up a warning light. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this webinar, and uh, let me know what other ones you'd like to see.